All right, I'm in Nogales, Arizona. Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to get here from Phoenix. Just stopped and got a Starbucks. I'm about to cross over the border into Mexico. In seven days, I'll be in Tuxtla Gutierrez, Chiapas, the most southern part of Mexico. No, I'm not driving. I'm flying. I'm driving my car to Hermosillo, the capital of Sonora. Uh, parking at the airport there and flying all across the country. All right, I'm approaching the border crossing. All right, that was really easy. Uh, you don't get stopped at all when you actually cross into Mexico this route. Uh, you have to stop at kilometer 21, which is precisely 21 kilometers south on this highway. Kilometer 21 is where you get your tourist visa and your vehicle uh, papers like uh, to import your vehicle uh, for up to 180 days. Anyways, we are in uh, we are in Mexico. There's the city of Nogales, Mexico. I don't know how you can see it on my little GoPro. I don't know what the speed limit is here on this road, and you definitely do not want to get popped uh, for for speeding. 80 kilometers, I just saw a sign that said 80 kilometers is the speed limit. The, my, my first toll booth. Okay, how much is a car? Gracias. Gracias. All right, I believe now I'm now I'm gonna get searched. This is the official uh, inspection area coming up here. All right, I uh, live in the inspection area. Um, they just uh, looked in the back seat, popped open the trunk, sent me on my way. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, now on to kilometer 21. All right, I've seen YouTube videos that said if uh, if you see this big uh, this big structure with this yellow railing, uh, the immigration area is right here on the right side. And according to my Google Maps, that appears to be the case also. So where is it? And how do we access it? Here we go. They don't want you to miss it. I think it's this this dirt road though. Yeah, right here. Okay. Okay. We got some potholes. We got some. Okay, oof, okay, okay, oof, 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 oof. All right, here we are. All right, on my way to Hermosillo, to the Hermosillo airport, and to Guadalajara, and eventually to Chiapas. All right, I just exchanged. Turn left, then turn right. I just exchanged 100 US dollars and I got in return 1,900 Mexican pesos. The speed limit says 80 kilometers, but I'm just going with traffic and everyone's going 80 miles per hour. There's no uh, lane markings, just arrows saying that I'm going the wrong way. And a concrete slab. And I'm following this guy. 30 pesos. All right, entering the city of Santa Ana, which I believe is named after um, a revolutionary general here in Mexico. So I forgot to get gas uh, back in the gas before I crossed the border. And, uh, I have 165 miles till I'm out of gas, and I think Hermosillo is about 100 miles away still, so I'll make it there, but I'm gonna, definitely gonna have to fill up in Mexico, which will be a first. I don't think I've ever actually gotten gas in Mexico before. I hear um, if you go to a uh, an, an Arco, try to find an Arco, that's your best bet because that is uh, American gas that they truck in from the USA. Good old USA. Alright, I need to get over 
so that I can go to Hermosillo because I do not want to go to Tijuana, Mexicali. Bon voyage. We are leaving. All right, I'm out here at a truck stop on the on the highway in between Santa Ana and Hermosillo. Just need to make a, a quick prayer to the Mother Mary and uh, take a whiz. Get something to drink. Look at the sunset. So I just bought my first item, this uh, water bottle for 15 pesos, and I had to use the truck stop restroom, which was five pesos. So, uh, yeah, down 20 pesos. All right, let's get to Hermosillo. Another toll booth. Not sure how much this one is. All right, I am in Hermosillo. All right, I'm here in Hermosillo, and I decided to get the most Mexican dinner ever. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I drove around looking for some, some nice taco shops or something, but nothing was open. So here I am at KFC in Mexico on Christmas Eve. It'll do. I'm actually in a nice like little part of the restaurant. But after this, straight to the airport. All right, that KFC meal, which was a four-piece meal, cost me 129 pesos. All right, so... I'm at a, an airport parking lot now. <clears throat> it's 8 p.m. That Make a U-turn, then turn that. right onto Carretera Hermosillo, but yeah, Kino. All right, I found a parking lot, and uh, it's $7 a day, and this guy drove me to the airport. Thank you, my friend. Well, thank you, sir. I'll call you on uh, 7 a.m. You call us, yeah, The first. Oh. All, right. All right, have a good night. All right, just got my boarding pass. This airport is really empty. There was no line. And uh, it took like two seconds to get my boarding pass. So I'm here a little early, but driving around here, I must see it looking for a bar wasn't exactly fun either. We'll talk about that later. Uh, let's go find my boarding gate. All right, well, I'm at my gate. Two and a half hours early. All right, so I actually just left the airport because I still have an hour and a half until my flight. Uh, it'll take like five minutes to get back in through security. The airport's dead, and there's no beer. They're not. There's nothing open inside. So uh, I want some beer. So I'm gonna walk up to this Oxo right here to see if they have some beer I can buy and drink. The airport OXO. There's the airport right there. The airport OXO does not serve alcohol, of course. Uh, these guys told me to walk about 300 meters to a little shack right over here, so that's where I'm going. All right, here we go. The little liquor shack by the airport. Serving men from, from all over the, the globe who need a cold brew before their flight. Ah, uh, yes, very promising. I just paid 32 pesos for these two Modellas. Bought two of them, Modelo Blacks. They're like 5.3%. And I'm just drinking them on this sketchy street corner across the street from the airport, right out front of this gentleman's uh, medical practice. But I'm just gonna chug these down real quick and uh, go back in through security. Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas. All right, that's the liquor store. I'm walking back up to the airport now. 
I went and bought one more beer. I'm gonna ask security if I can uh, take it through. Chug two of them. Attention please. This is an important notice. Due to the federal security regulations established by the aviation authority. Just chill. Just drink your beer in the <clears throat> airport lobby. No one cares. All right, we get to enter the plane from a very cool way. Paula. Alright, I just got these two Hanekens. It's a bag of chips for 190 pesos. Alright, I just landed in the Guadalajara airport. I'm gonna go out to the road now and find an, a cab or an Uber. Alright, I just stopped at this taxi booth. I paid 370 pesos to get a ride to my Airbnb, which is about 10 minutes away in the center of the city. 370 pesos, that's off the top of my head, about, uh, I don't know, $17. So not too bad. All right, I'm in my cab going towards my Airbnb. It is so smoky here. I do not know why it's so smoky. All right, there goes the taxi. He just dropped me off. Here's my Airbnb.